Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my home network tour for 2017. I haven't made one for quite a while. I think the last one was in um, 2015, I believe. I made some changes, so I figured I'd make an updated video. Anyways, I'm using the same old cabinet that my brother cousin built for me. Let's open it up and see what it changed. So as you can see, it looks somewhat the same as it did before but much more cleaner and some new components. And the very first thing I wanna talk about is the new cable modem. This is a Motorola Doxis 3 16 by nine. I'll tell you why I got this modem a little bit later. So what I still have right now is the a TP-Link uh, wireless portable router that has a custom firmware installed called Media Bridge and that is for my weather station. And I'm still using the same old monoprice patch panel. And to the left of it is a brand new Buffalo Gigabit switch that is absolutely fantastic. And below that is my brand new router that I just installed a couple days ago. This is the Ubiquiti Edge Router X, an absolutely amazing piece of hardware. Finding a Gigabit wired router was pretty difficult. Uh, a lot of them are those Soho cheap all-in-one wireless routers that I don't really care for. I think having a separate access point and router is far more superior and more reliable and more powerful than the all-in-ones. Believe it or not, that little tiny, this is my hand, I mean it's not very big. It's a pretty small unit. It has a dual core 850 megahertz processor and 256 megabytes of RAM. It's quite a powerful little unit and um, I wanted something a little bit more powerful because I will be upgrading our home security system to 2K cameras. So that's pretty high resolution for a security camera. And I wanted it to be able to handle that amount of data. Very easy to set up. I had some issues with it, but you guys are gonna laugh at me. The issue I had was the router was not obtaining the IP address from the ISP. So to fix that, the only thing I had to do was restart the cable modem and it picked it up just fine. So anyways, to the way up there is a gigabit PoE injector for the Ubiquiti Unify access point that has AC wireless and is the long range version to uh, fix some death spots I had. Um, the signal in the garage is far more better than it ever was, uh, so that's a big plus. All hardware in here is now capable of gigabit speeds, and the reason why is that my internet connection has finally been upgraded and I am now receiving 250 megabit download speed, which is absolutely incredible from the 25 to 30 megabits I previously had. So a huge, huge, huge upgrade for me. If you had watched my previous home network tour video in 2015, I had a Accurite weather station bridge thing that was up there up top. I have since moved that because the signal was getting pretty weak because it was inside of this cabinet, but I moved it to a new location. And this is the new location of the bridge unit for the weather station. I'm now picking up a solid three out of four bars for my weather station, so I'm no longer getting drop signals, which is good. I would like to answer some common frequently asked questions that I get on the last few of these home network tour videos that I have done. And the first one is being the patch panel and why I use a patch panel. Why not just plug the wires coming in from the house into the switch directly instead of going into the patch panel? And the reason for that is that I didn't really want to terminate all those wires by hand. It was far more easier to punch them down into the patch panel than just buy a regular cheap model price patch cables to go from the patch panel to the switch. If you want to terminate the wires by hand, you're more welcome to do that. This is just a little bit more easier for me. The second frequently asked question is, is about heat. These components do not really produce a whole lot of heat. This cabinet is located in the basement which is below the ground and surrounded by a lot of concrete. So it stays relatively cool and low humidity I doubt this thing gets even above 80 degrees even on a hot summer day. So I don't really have any problems with heat and all components are well within their operating temperatures. So yeah, it looks a little bit different, looks a little bit more cleaner, a little bit more professional looking in my opinion. 
The next project I would like to do is add a battery backup unit to this, but I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do that right now. That's a project for another day and a whole another video. <laughs> so yeah, this is my upgraded home networking tour for 2017. All of the links to all of these components will be in the description below so you guys can check them out there. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave them in the comments section below. I'll try to answer them as soon as I possibly can. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.